Om Shri Tulnoot. Today we are going to do lesson number five in Apronol of France part three, and the name of the lesson is Fair Lake Cruise. Fair Lake Cruise means to do the shopping, and uh, we are reading the lesson. Come on, say Samdi. Say Samdi means it's Saturday, and uh, Madame Lavigne fait des courses toujours le samedi. Madame Lavigne means Mrs. Lavigne fait des courses means does shopping toujours always le samedi Saturday. Mrs. Lavigne always does the shopping on Saturday. D'abord, elle va au marché. D'abord means first. Elle, she, va, go. Au marché, to market. First, she goes to market. Elle veut des légumes. Pommes de terre, haricots verts et champignons. Elle means she, va means wants. Des légumes, she wants vegetables. Potatoes, green beans, haricots verts. A champignon means mushrooms. Elle achète aussi des fruits. Banane, pomme et poire. Elle means she. Achète means buys. Aussi, also. Des fruits, some fruits. Banane, bana, banana. Pomme de, pomme, sorry. Pomme means apples. Poire means pear. So she also buys some fruits like banana, apple and pear. Ils sont aussi, ils sont très frais au marché. Il means, um, you know, they are very fresh in market. Ensuite, then, elle va à la boucherie. She goes to the butcher shop, meat shop. Elle achète de la viande. She buys some meat. Veau et mouton. Veau means lamb. Mouton means mutton. Enfin, at last, or finally, elle va à la boulangerie. She goes to the bakery. Elle connaît une bonne boulangerie ici. Elle means she knows a very good bakery here. Now her dialogues in boulangerie, à la boulangerie, le boulanger. Bonjour madame, que désirez-vous? Boulanger or baker says, good morning ma'am, what do you want? Bonjour, je veux un kilo de pain et une baguette. Good morning, I want a kilo bread, a kilo of bread and a baguette. Baguette is a kind of long bread. Voilà, madame, vous voulez autre chose? Voilà, here they are, ma'am. What do you, do you want? Something else? Oui, donnez-moi aussi un petit gâteau au chocolat et une tarte au prune. Uh, uh, yes, give me, also give me a small chocolate cake and uh, Plum tart. Tart au prune means plum tart. Le boulanger. C'est tout, madame? That's all, ma'am. Madame Lavigne. Oui, ça fait combien? How much? Le boulanger. Ça fait 15 euros 30. Uh, it costs 10, 15 euros 30. Madame Lavigne. Voilà l'argent. Here is the money. Le boulanger. Merci, madame. Bonne journée. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Madame Lavigne. Bonne journée. Have a good day. Okay, now you have to complete the text. Uh, je ne vais pas à l'école. D'abord, le samedi, ici. Le samedi, je ne vais pas à l'école. It means, on Saturday, I don't go to school. Next is, je vais acheter des fruits à la boulangerie, au marché, à la boucherie, au marché. I go to market to buy some fruits. À la boucherie, on achète du mouton, du fromage, des légumes. From boucherie, we buy 
mutu. Madame Lavigne achète un gâteau au chocolat à la vanille au fruit. She buys a chocolate cake. And uh, now next is. Dites vrai ou faux? D'abord, Madame Lavigne va à la boulangerie. No, it's faux. Mam Lavigne doesn't go to the bakery first. Elle achète des séries au marché faux. She doesn't buy the cherries. Elle achète du veau et du poulet. No, she doesn't buy the poulet. Chicken, she is not buying. Uh, Madame Lavigne aime la tarte au prune. Vrai, because she's buying tarte au prune. Plum tart. Répondez. Que fait Madame Lavigne le samedi? So its answer would be Elle fait du shopping le samedi. Du shopping le samedi. Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'elle achète à la boucherie? What does she buy in the bakery? She buys uh, meat, lamb, mutton at the boucherie. Elle achète de la viande. What is there in beyond? She buys the it means lamb a mouton mouton okay kis ke lache tala boulangeri what does she buy at bakery elle achète a kilo de pain Une baguette. Une baguette. Un petit gâteau au chocolat. Et une tarte au prune. Où achète-t-on les fruits et les légumes? Where do we buy fruits and vegetables? On achète les fruits et les légumes au marché. We buy in market. Okay, next is savoir and connaître. So here the conjugation is given savoir and connaître. Both verbs mean to know. Je sais, tu sais, il or elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, il and elle savent. Je connais pour connaître, tu connais, il connaît, with T, nous connaissons, vous connaissez, il elle connaît. Conjugation of connaître is like IR ending regular. You will put, uh, you will remove TRE and you put SST, SSONS, SSEZ, SSENT. And then now here the difference between savoir and connaître. Since both verbs mean to know, where do we use savoir, where do we use connaître? Savoir is followed by a verb. Savoir is followed by a verb. And fact and information. You know, fact and information also comes in savoir. I mean, savoir comes in fact and information also. Vous savez où il habite. Je sais nager. Elle sait la date de mon anniversaire. And connaître. To know. Uh, 
with a person, place or thing. You use this verb with a person, place or a thing. Je connais cet homme. Cet homme is a person. Elle connaît Paris. It's a place. Il connaît ce poem. It's a thing. And now, in this, you will learn adverb interrogative. Adverb interrogative means you have learned qui est and qu'est-ce que c'est in uh, last class. In this class, you will learn some more question to frame some more question using interrogative adverbs. So, what are those interrogative adverbs? Or in French, we say adverb interrogative. Où, où means where, quand means when, como, how, combien de, how many, pourquoi, why. So, let us see the example with où. Où habitez-vous? Or we can simply write où est-ce que vous habitez? If we add est que, we don't need to do inversion. If we are not writing est que, we have to do inversion. So, where do you live? Quand means when. Quand viens tu? When are you coming? Quand est-ce que tu viens? Comment? How? Comment joue-t-elle? How does she play? Como es que el joue? Combien de? How many? Combien de chocolat achètes tu? Combien de chocolat est que tu achètes? Both sentences have the same meaning, only the way of writing is different. How many chocolates do you buy? Or how many chocolates do you buy? Pourquoi why? Pourquoi sort-il? Pourquoi is skill sort? Why is he going out? Why is he going out? Okay, and after that there is En fait, où faites-vous les courses? Where do you go for shopping? So, on peut faire les courses au supermarché. Là, on trouve tous les produits. On peut aussi acheter les produits dans, les, dans des boutiques spécialisées. It means we can uh, do we can do shopping in supermarket. There we find all the products. We can also buy the products in the special uh, shops which are specialized. So la boulangerie, the bakery. Il y a le pain. Les croissants, les baguettes, etc. à la boulangerie. Uh, there are bread. There is bread, croissant, baguette, etc. at the bakery. Next is pâtisserie. Pâtisserie is pastry shop. Il y a tout sort de gâteau. Tart, brioche, éclair, etc. à la pâtisserie. So they are saying there are all kind of cakes, tarts, pastries, eclairs at the pastry shop. La boucherie. Boucherie is the meat shop or butcher's shop. Pour la viande, boeuf, poulet, mouton, etc. On va à la boucherie. For the meat, what kind of meat? Beef, lamb, mutton. We go to the butcher shop. La charcuterie. Charcuterie is a pork. Sorry, it's cremery. Cremery. Pour la beurre, le fromage, les produits laitiers, on va à la cremery. For the butter, cheese, and the milk products. We go to the creamery, dairy shop. Epicery, spices shop or grocery shop. Sit and sort the petit marché. It's a kind of small supermarket. On peut acheter le thé, le café, les épices et tout sort the produit à la epicery. We can buy tea, coffee, spices and all kind of products in the epicery. La marche. On peut acheter les légumes et les fruits frais. 
omarshe we can buy vegetables and fresh fruits fresh fruits and vegetables in market la poissonnerie poissonnerie is a fish market it's a kind of fish market which we have in india pour les fruits de mer poisson crab huitre etc on va à la poissonnerie we go to the fishmonger show for um, no fruit the mer is the seafood fish crabs huitre means oyster on va à la poissonnerie we go to the fish show okay uh, here they are saying on prono on prono is uh, used as we uh, it means we but its conjugation would be like third person singular on oh, one we general sense though on is used uh, in the plural sense its conjugation with a verb is in the third person singular on va au marché we go to the sorry on va à la boucherie we go to the butcher on peut acheter les légumes we can buy vegetables so we have covered all the reading part and now in next video we will cover the grammar part until then thank you so much bye bye au revoir